The Franklin, one of my favorites. Many of you that have been with me before in a coin show know it. I'm passionate about the series because the value that's inside of these coins. Think about it. The last coin was made in 1963. We're in 2023. So 60 years ago is the last time we've seen these. Then we had that big silver thing in 1980. Silver goes to $50 an ounce. What was the last large silver coin? Oh yeah, these Franklins. And that's why we don't find them today. Look at this collection. And tonight, it's the last decade of the Denver Mint. Now, the Franklin series replaced the Walking Liberty series in 1948. They ran 16 years consecutive through the year 1963. And then, due to the unfortunate events of late 1963, the passing of President Kennedy, the introduction of the Kennedy Half Dollar, right, in 1964. So a short 16-year series. They made 16 P's, 14 D's, and 5 S's, 35 coins in all in the Franklin series. The last decade is what you see in front of you. Now you're saying, hold it, that's 12 years. And that is because they did not make Denver coins in 55 and 56. So to give you the last decade of Denver, we have to go back and add 53 and 54 to this collection to make it work. That means you're getting 10 of the 14 Denvers they made in the series, in this collection. Oh, and by the way, simple math is what? 249.95 divided by 10 means for an uncirculated Franklin, you're under $25 a coin. Now below the E and the S in states, we just blew by it. That is the Denver Mint Mark. That is the differentiation between Philadelphia and Denver or San Francisco. As I referenced, they made a few of them right there. It looks like a hook, like you'd hold up the bell. It's not. It's the Denver Mint Mark. All of these grace that. These are gorgeous, uncirculated specimens. Gorgeous. As you can tell, they stand out. And boy, do they stand out. My competition, are you ready? I'm going to rattle off the, what they're selling the first three, 52, 53, and 54, which is the top row here. 76.95, 78.50, 68.75. Add them together, they're almost the price of our entire collection. And we, that's just three coins. If you add up all the rest of them, the 57 through 63s, they're over $700. We are almost one-third the price. Way under half the price. For beautiful, uncirculated specimens and capsules. Now, all of ours are encapsulated, as you see on your screen, and they also come with this beautiful presentation box. But this is, again, a significant chunk of the Denver's made. 48 to 54, 57 to 63, they made 14 coins during the 16-year reign of this series. And this is the last 10 of them, 52 to 63. Again, no 55, no 56, because there were none. They only made Philadelphia's those two years. But it's the Franklin. The reason why you don't see these today an uncirculated condition is, like most of you might remember, 1980, this thing called silver went to $50 an ounce, which means these melted for 20 bucks a throw. Any condition, unks, proofs, circulated, coals. I mean, I remember people selling silverware, flatware, anything with silver on it, right? Remember the cars? The older cars would have that hood ornament. Many of them were made in silver at one point, and those were being ripped off, right? And we had $50 an ounce in the last decade again, right? Where is it going to go right now? I wish I had that information. I think you all wish you had it too, right? But that's okay. All I know is this. At under $25 a coin right now, we're able to bring forward a crazy collection coin by coin. And it's not 10 random coins, right? It is 10 exact coins. 52 to 54, 57 to 63, the last 10 Denver Franklins ever made, period. I remember one of our competitors were making reference, ah, they say this. I say, no, this is exactly it. They gave us two ears and one mouth for one reason. That's what they say, right? 
remember that from when I was a child in school because I talked too much then too. Franklin's, the last large silver coin in circulation. Remember, the peace dollar ended in 1935. So the Franklin is the last big silver coin out there before our silver just disappeared. We pulled silver, 90% silver, from our dimes and quarters and half dollars in 64. We continue making special issue silvers from 65 to 70. And then it's been copper clad for everything ever since. Silver goes to $50 an ounce and it just destroys collectordom. And remember, NGC, PCGS, ANAX, the Independent Certification Services we rely on so greatly to help us today. 35 plus strong years from then, didn't start till the mid to late 80s, which is why a lot of these weren't grabbed and slabbed, so to speak, beforehand. But the Franklin series to me is about value. I love the series. I mean, was there a more important founding father? From the diplomat to what? The scientist to the first fire company in Philadelphia, right? Electricity, oh yeah, that thing. That's how we're communicating right now. <laughs> one of our greatest founding fathers. The unique story on this one, the reverse, you'll notice it has the Liberty Bell. All the others had a rendition of what? The American Eagle. But right there to the right of the bell at three o'clock, a little eagle. Know why? Franklin was the only founding father that objected to the eagle being our national symbol. He wanted a more wholesome bird, the turkey. So they put it as a small eagle on the far right. Guys, we gotta put a one minute clock up, down to single digits on the sets. They're not gonna last much longer. Again, the math is simple. 249.95 divided by 10 uncirculated coins brings you under $25 a piece. And it's not 10 random coins, which at 25 bucks would be a great deal. I mean, they're selling the 63s at $76. That's the bottom right. This is 70, I'm sorry, this is 52, 53, 54. And then there were no 55 or 56 Denvers. And then 57 to 63. The last 10 years, Denver struck the Franklin. The Franklin was made for 16 years. The Franklin from Denver was struck for only 14 years. This is a 10 coin collection, which means this is 10 of the 14 Franklins from Denver in one shot. Competitions north of $700 for the same exact uncirculated coins. As I referenced earlier, those first three coins, 52, 53, 54, are basically the price of our collection. It's like getting three and getting seven for free. This is a phenomenal opportunity. Thank you all for joining us. Again, I'm passionate about this series. I love it because the value, under $25 a coin with us, $70 with our competitors, there's no question this is the place to be. Join me.